Genesis chapter 4 Adam intimately loved his wife Eve. She became pregnant and gave birth to their son, Cain. Overwhelmed with joy, she exclaimed, I've been blessed with a son, a gift from God. She gave birth once more, this time to Abel, his brother. Abel found his calling as a shepherd, while Cain chose to work the soil. As time went on, Cain, filled with devotion, presented some of his farm's produce as a gift to the Lord. Abel, too, offered the best and fattest of his flock to God. And God, in his grace, looked favorably upon Abel in his heartfelt offering. But God didn't acknowledge Cain and his offering. This deeply upset Cain, causing his spirit to plummet. The Lord asked Cain, why are you so angry? Why do you look so sad? If you do good, won't you be embraced? But if you don't, sin is lurking, ready to control you. Yet, you can master it. Cain and Abel, brothers, were deep in conversation in the open field. Suddenly, overcome by rage, Cain attacked Abel, tragically ending his brother's life. With a heavy heart, the Lord asked Cain, where is your brother Abel? Cain replied defiantly, how should I know? Am I supposed to watch over him? He asked, what have you done? Your brother's blood screams to me from the earth. Now you are banished from the land that swallowed your brother's blood from your hands, you are cursed. When you work the land, it will no longer give you its bounty, you'll be a wanderer and outcast on this earth. Cain cried out to God, Lord, this punishment is too heavy for me to carry. You've banished me today, hiding me from your sight. I'm now a wanderer, lost on earth, and anyone who finds me may kill me. In a stern voice, the Lord warned, anyone who harms Cain will face my wrath seven times over. To protect him, the Lord marked Cain, ensuring no one would dare to kill him. Cain, filled with shame, left God's sight and settled in the distant land of Nod, east of Eden. Cain intimately loved his wife, who then became pregnant and gave birth to their son, Enoch. Filled with pride and joy, Cain built a city and named it Enoch in honor of his beloved son. Enoch was blessed with a son named Irad. Irad, in turn, became the father of Mehujal. Mehujal continued the lineage with Methusel, who then fathered Lamech. Lamech, in his heart, chose two women to be his wives. He lovingly named one Ada and tenderly called the other Zillah. Ada gave birth to Jabal, the pioneer of nomads and livestock keepers. Jubal was his brother's name, known as the passionate pioneer of all who play the harp and organ. Zilla, too, gave birth to Tubal Cain, a master craftsman of brass and iron. His sister was the lovely Naamah. Lamech turned to his wives, Anna and Zilla, his voice heavy with regret. Listen to me, he pleaded. I've done something terrible. I've killed a man and it's tearing me apart. I've also harmed a young man and it's causing me great pain. If Cain's revenge is multiplied seven times, then truly, Lamex will be amplified 77 times over. Adam and his wife came together once more, and she gave birth to a son. She named him Seth, saying, God has graciously given me another child in place of Abel, who was killed by Cain. Seth was blessed with a son, whom he named Enos. It was then that people started to invoke the name of the Lord with reverence and faith.